the Pardot API on engagement activity reporting and Verbicina alternifolia or wing stem because it's got these really cool wings down the lengths of the stems. So when we're trying to do activity reporting by the API, we hit a roadblock right away. And that roadblock is that we can't do it. <clears throat> when we look at the Pardot API docs, we see that we've got an email and we've got email clicks. And when we look at the email object, we can read a specific email. We can get stats for an email, but we can't get a list of emails. So we have to get clever with this. And what we end up needing to do is we end up needing to look at all the email clicks in order to get a list of IDs so we can build a list of, of emails so we can query for the stats and, and the details. So we can do email clicks and we could do email template clicks to get and build this list. And once we get a, a, a list or an email ID, then we can go back to the API and we can basically loop through all the IDs and now we can get our list and we can, we can build our reports that we want. So what this would look like is looping through a list of list IDs, email IDs, I should say, and we can ask the to do a, a read on the email object, and then we can also do a stats on the email object. And then what I like doing is I like just mushing them together, right? And th now we've got this email ID and we've got the, the stats and all that. Um, the other thing we can do, uh, well, the other thing we need to do first, actually, if we go farther up in the code, we need to basically loop through the email stats uh, or the email clicks, I should say. So here I'm going through the clicks, right? And I'm walking through uh, a time period. Uh, this example, I'm walking through all time because I'm trying to get all the stats. And when I get a result, I examine that result and I see if I have an email ID and I put it into one list and I see if I have an email template ID, I put that into another list or array. And now I can inspect um, the, the data specifically for emails or for email templates. And then uh, if we want to do email templates, I'm looking at that email template ID, same thing, looking at the email template ID. I'm asking the, the API email template to do a read on that particular email template ID. It's not really all that hard once you figure out that you can't do what you want and you kind of have to come at it backwards. So what that can give us, if we look at an example, uh, this is my uh, Pardot field trip uh, tool, which basically dumps a lot of field statistics and, and basic reporting. Uh, we use it for, for uh, Pardot account audits when we um, start a new client. But I can look at my email stats and I can get the email ID. I can get the email name. I've hidden it. Uh, I can get the subject line and that's part of that email object. Uh, and then I can get my, my stats um, off that email uh, report. And I've got lots of really nice juicy stats, which is what, what we want, right? Yay, yay, we won. Um, when it comes to email templates, eh, it's not so good. So we get our ID and we get a name and we can get a subject and we can get like the links that they clicked on and we can get the number of clicks. And that's really all we get on the email templates, which is really frustrating because we use email templates with an engagement studio and and we can't really suck good external reporting out of engagement studio, which is really frustrating. But that's uh, that's getting in the weeds with using the API to try to do some email, email template reporting. And then also our fun wing stem. <laughs>